Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Today we're looking at the week of January the 8th to the 14th, 2018. Brand new year, so to speak. Um, on the 11th, Mercury enters Capricorn. And that allows us to um, get deeper into our strengths and um, you know, talk to more authoritative figures with much more clarity and oomph. So the energy gets higher as the week progresses. So what we can do now is to have a look at the overall energy uh, of the week and for the week before we go into the individual star signs. Just going to have a little sip here. And now we're looking at the overall energy for the week of January the 8th, right through the 14th, 2018. Here we go. Let's see what's coming up for all of us. <clears throat> it's actually quite interesting because... Um, it's a good thing that the energy gets higher as the week progresses. Like I said, uh, on the 11th, Mercury enters Capricorn, which gives us a real boost. Um, but that doesn't mean that the overall energy uh, uh, for this week is, is low. Um, but it is, for all of us, overall energy speaking, it is a week of reflection. You have the Shaman of Loss and the Ancestor of Illusion. And that just means that whatever it is you feel you've lost, particularly in 2017, which was one of those years, which is what is called a one year, where um, all the things that you need to experience, um, like being really vulnerable, for instance, so that you learn to see yourself worse. Um, these things were all pushed on people in 2017. And with, the, with 2018 being a, a master number year, an 11 number year, where the energy is much higher, it's now important to... Um, push stuff out that still sits inside us. That's why you have the shaman of loss. And that just means that, that things that you have, you feel you have lost in 2017 um, are now, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're ready to go, but it's good to say to yourself, you know what, carrying that old pain with me is not serving me at all any longer. So again, it's you looking at your self-esteem, your self-worth. Because you also have the ancestor of illusion, which means for quite a long time, you probably tried to make yourself feel otherwise, believe otherwise, that it could be fixed, could be saved somehow. And I'm sure for some of you out there, um, difficult situations are um, luckily very resolved, and I'm, and I'm really happy for you. But um, if you're one of those people um, that represent the other side of that coin, where things were difficult, um, things have ended, um, you know, uh, or even, even um, it could be relationship related, it could also be related um, uh, with regards to, to the passing of someone you loved. Um, you do not really um, dishonor them by deciding um, that grief, uh, uh, even, you, you know, grief takes a long time and, and, and you know, and please grief, it's really, really important. But um, if you feel you need a break from it all, you have that right. And in my experience, people on the other side, or beings on the other side, because I also work with animals, um, what they really want, and this is also what the guides want from you, is your happiness. So um, take time out from grieving, take time out from feeling low, um, you know, to come back together. So, so that's the overall energy for the week, is, is um, energy of letting things go, it means also, before things can go, you need to acknowledge them, okay? So don't just get busy, oh yeah, it's a new year, it's all going to be great, <laughs> because it doesn't, that work. it doesn't work that way either. You have to acknowledge um, the, the, the void inside you, the pain inside you, in order for it to, to move on, right? And I wish you well that this moves on, but that's the overall energy, is to focus this week on the letting go of this. And it is perfect, because this week... Like I said, in the, on the 11th, we have uh, Mercury join uh, or, or enter Capricorn. Um, so the energy gets higher as you go through your stuff. Okie doke. 
that was that that was the overall energy for the week of january the 8th to the 14th and now we're going into the individual star signs starting with capricorn Capricorns, <coughs> you have an awesome week ahead of you because you have the spirit of wisdom and the ancestor of tribes, which means you have an inner knowing um, about what you're worth. You also have an inner knowing that, that situations can improve at any given moment. So there is no need to be low. There is no need to think like, oh, life is over, you know. This kind of thing. You have, a, you have, you have the spirit of wisdom, which is uh, wisdom comes from the inside. There's a saying that says you find knowledge in books and wisdom inside yourself, and that's very true. So trust that you have that wisdom inside yourself because you do, and you have the ancestor of tribes, which means you are actually protected and surrounded by your tribe, by your guides. So this is a really good week coming up for you. Uh, this this week where all you need to remember is how awesome you are and that's all you need to do right that was Capricorn going into Aquarius and I'm drawn to another deck okay these two cards fell out but they want to be red Aquarius is similar to Capricorn in that you are also surrounded by your guides, which is awesome. It's really good to know that they're all around you and that they, uh, you know, walk with you um, every inch of your path. They are there. Uh, so please remember that there's a unity happening right now and a union happening right now um, with you and your guides, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but you also have, as a spirit guide, you have the dog. And the dog is all about loyalty. But, and this is the main message here for Aquarius, loyalty starts with you. If you don't look after yourself, other people will not necessarily look after you. Because you have to first realize that you are creating your reality. And that you are saying, I am feeling this way and I deserve this. And once you start deserving stuff, you will find people that want you to have the best and be the best and feel the best. So that's what this is about um, this week. So remember, loyalty starts with you. That's all we got for the Aquarius. Now going into Pisces. I don't want to have five cards. <laughs> you can see... There's loads of stuff happening for Pisces and the guides want to talk. <laughs> but I have to limit it uh, to, to, to only a few cards, really. Um, because otherwise I would be here tomorrow. It's also because I'm Pisces myself and I'm going through a lot of, of, of um, change. Um, I think the guides just want me to look at stuff. But I can do this in my own time, you know, get, get me some cards. Thank you, guides. But... Um, for for now, because we're looking at the week of the eighth, of, of you know, of the eighth to the, or from the eighth to the to the fourteenth, we just have a look at at what is what is important. So you have the dolphin and the parrot, which means that your guides are trying to inject you with joy, or us. So this is a week to be of high energy. Have fun, create fun scenarios, even if you're not feeling so happy <laughs> you can still go to the cinema go to a theater if you are uh, if you have an instrument go play it you know do do things that bring you joy that's the main message for us Pisces this this week do not give in to low energy um, and 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 because we also have the parrot which is about speaking the truth so what speaking the truth means is that you shouldn't or we shouldn't go out pretend we are yeah we are, you know all is good all is great you know it doesn't mean you, 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 you know, we should go out being miserable, not at all. But, um, you know, we shouldn't be that, that person that goes out and pretends we're okay just because we're with people. So um, that doesn't mean we, we go out and spoil people, <laughs> people's parties or whatever. But um, we have the right to acknowledge that uh, our full energy, our overall energy is not as high yet. 
but we're doing our best this week to raise it, raise the vibration, which is also about self-healing, um, and allow ourselves to, to go out, be with people, be in life, live life. Really, really important this week for us Pisces. But above all, speak your truth. If people ask you, how are you? Remind them that even though it is just a phrase to many people, this is a question directed at you. And if you feel like telling them how you truly feel, that's what they just asked you to do. Right? So for you people out there who use these phrases, how yeah, <laughs> all the time, um, there are other cultures like where I'm from, Germany, you wouldn't ask this question if you don't want to know how the person is doing. <laughs> you would just limit yourself to hello kind of thing. So there are people that um, that feel, well, you ask me a question, so obviously you're interested, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm not saying you're not interested, but, but oftentimes it becomes just a phrase. Um, so to recap for, the, for us, Pisces this week, January the 8th to the 14th, be in life, be lighthearted, be as high as you can in energy, raise your vibrations by going out and speak your truth. That was Pisces going into Aries. Sorry about that. <laughs> going into Aries. For Aries this week, you have the spirit of family and the shaman of birth. And what that means is that this is the week for you to look at family, and I mean flesh and blood family. You look at family and you realize where things aren't working. And if things aren't fixable, if you feel like, you know, I had a falling out with, with, with them, or I'm not really talking to my brother, or I'm not connecting to my brother or whatever, whoever it may be in the family, could also be cousins, <laughs> then it is important to realize that it is what it is. Nobody's asking you, Aries, this week to go and make contact and try to fix it. What they're asking you is to, is to look at it and say, this is what's not working in family and I refuse to let this drag me down. And then you, you make peace with it. A very easy way of making peace, actually, with situations that you feel cannot be resolved, um, is by just lighting a candle. And, uh, you know, let the light travel to the people in question, you know. Give them light. Send them light. Be light. So that's really important, because the shaman of birth means that it is important to have a new beginning. And that doesn't mean that you have to have a new beginning by going there. So not one word was said here for Aries to actually make contact with people you don't want to speak to. They're merely asking you to reflect on the situation as it is right now and decide to not let this affect you. Okay, that was Aries going into Taurus. Taurus is in a way short and sweet. You have the spirit of love and the shaman of foresight. So the spirit of love means is that your energy this week is quite high. If you allow yourself to be in your strengths, there's no stopping you this week. You have the spirit of love, which means things will be fluid for you. They will work well for you. Um, and you have the shaman of foresight, which means that you already know by now. You already know the things that aren't working, the things that are difficult. And, and because you have the spirit of love, it is important this week to um, talk about the things that aren't working and talk to the people that you may have issues with. And they could be colleagues, they could be uh, your lover, your partner, they could be anybody, really. Um, as you speak with love and speak your truth with love, with understanding, you have a much better chance of them responding this week. And that's all you need to do. That was Tauruses going into Gemini.
I quite like it when we talk because we're going from um, star sign to star sign and many are overlapping in a, in a way energetically speaking and I always um, find it quite interesting when um, there are remnants of the other star sign the star sign before you yours um, when they come in because we just talked about the spirit of love and you have the spirit of truth so this is a, a week for you to also reflect on um, where your life is going and how you truly feel. You have the ancestor of memory, and that means that there will be loads of thoughts coming to you. You will look at patterns, for want of a better word. You will look at things where you feel like, I've been there before, for instance, we talked about this before, there's no real improvement, and the spirit of truth will show you this week where and what the true issues are. And because you have the spirit of truth, you can be truthful in um, addressing it, if that makes sense. But remember, because you have the spirit of truth, and truth needs no defense, so don't argue, don't get loud, um, reflect also if there's anger inside you, uh, or people. if people make you angry, then it's no point um, approaching them this week, because Nobody listens to a person that is angry, if that makes sense. And the response you get is one of conflict. And so that doesn't, that doesn't quite work. Okay? So that's all we got for um, Gemini, sorry. <laughs> Going into Cancer. Cancerians. Right then. Cancerians will recall that last week, very first week of January, the, um, the guides were saying to you, it is time that you fight for your rights and that you speak your truth. And I was saying that, that um, nobody expects you to start the year with trouble. Um, but this feistiness that is inside you will actually aid you this week as well. Because you have the spirit of challenge and the hunter of gifts. So what that really means, the spirit of challenge means that life might be difficult, actually might stay difficult. You're going through stuff, that's for sure. You're, you're going through your healing, as it were. And it's important to, rem to remember that when things get challenging, they're still healing. And that's important. You know, take your time with it. But, but don't, um, don't close things down. Uh, allow yourself to heal, even from stuff that is ancient, from issues that have been there for decades, for instance. It's really, really powerful to keep going because you have the hunter of gifts, which means you really want to know, why am I here? What is my purpose? What am I doing here? <laughs> if that makes sense. And these answers are usually, uh, uh, or these questions, are usually questions of frustration where you want some guidance to see where you can go. Reality is you have free will. So you go where you, where you decide you go and then the guides will follow you, if that makes sense, uh, and help each, each step of the way. The point is that you're looking for a place of belonging. And what the guides are saying is you're already on that path. You will get there, but your main task and again, it's the second week of January, and I'm just mentioning it because I remember the, 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 the very first week that we talked about uh, last week. And so, so apparently um, you're going through heavy stuff right at the beginning of this new year. And all the guides are saying is, keep going, answers will come. All right? That was the Cancerians going into Leo. Again, one of those things where, where, where um, the previous star sign affects the, the following star sign. Because we just had Cancerians, now we're moving into Leo. And Leo themselves also have heal your heart. So um, for Leo, if you are in a space of pain, if you are in a space of not being so happy, not feeling appreciated, 
Um, allow yourself to heal your heart. But the most important thing for Leos this week is to recognize your skills. You're not as stupid as you believe you are. You're not as incompetent as you feel you are. What I'm trying to say is if you feel stuck, that is not your fault. We all feel stuck at times. And, uh, and life can be difficult at times. But that doesn't mean that it's all your fault and that you failed somehow. So it's important to look at your self-esteem, at your self-worth this week. And recognize your skills because you do have skills. You do have skills. And it's important to realize that you have them. And also maybe remember um, how long it took you to get these skills and how, how, how often your skills of life helped you and others in situations that were and are difficult. So you'll get through it just fine. But the main, of, uh, main task this week for Leos is to heal your heart. It would be a good week to, um, to um, seek a therapist, a complimentary therapist, I might add, that can help you with whatever uh, chakras are probably a little bit out of sync or, 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 or blocked. Um, any therapy, really, that, that gives you calmness, that allows you to heal and allows you to have a good cry, would be good this week. Okie doc, that was Leo going into Virgo. Virgo, quite interesting for you this week. You have the spirit of initiation and the spirit of destruction. And what that really means is the spirit of initiation means that now is the time for you to follow your spiritual path much more direct, much quicker and much more in the knowing that you are a spiritual person. Follow your spirituality. For instance, this is a good week uh, for you to join a circle um, uh, or run a circle if you really work spiritually. This is a good week to really connect to your spiritual relations because you have the spirit of destruction and that doesn't mean that things you know, fall apart. The spirit of destruction denotes that things that are no longer working are now ready to leave. But you need to push yourself there. Let go of people, and I, don't, and I mean this in the nicest way, let go of people that do not get you. Let go of people that are not helping you on your spiritual path. Really, really important. And spend time with like-minded people. Find like-minded people. Really, really important this, this, this week. Not only will you be, and this is the spirit of initiation, will you feel you truly belong in the company of other spiritual people. And remember, spiritual people are always uh, aware that we're all on, the, on a path. And we're all searching and we're all growing so, uh, and everybody that, so for instance, joins a circle, uh, goes there for their own reasons, but yet inside the circle, you are a group of people that come together and experience healing together and growth together, and that alone is awesome. So that's the, the message uh, for the week for Virgos, to um, look at your spiritual path and, and um, well, speed it up <laughs> a little bit, right? Going into Libra. Okay, for, for Libras, this is a week where your guides remind you to stop thinking and believing that you are alone and that nothing works. This is the week of treating yourself, your own self, with as much love as you can possibly master. Everything you do to yourself should come from a place of love. Really, really important this week. And that's all we need to do this week. Is to, is to find your place of love and give love to yourself and let go of the feeling of believing you are alone. Even when you feel or should you feel I'm stuck, I'm on my own, nobody understands me, it, everything starts with you realizing that you deserve better. Once you deserve better, 
you get better. And that's the message here. This week is a week of self-love for all the Libra. Okay? And that's all you need to do. And you can do this by reading a beautiful book, watching um, a beautiful movie, listening to music that soothes your soul and your heart. And that's a good way of doing it. Okay, dog. Going into Scorpio now. Going into Scorpio. Right. This is important for, for Scorpios this week. You have the ancestor of skill and the shaman of tradition. So this week, it's important to look at yourself and what you have, what you have accomplished in life. And look at your skill set. Look at your toolbox that life has created for you and with you, and that you have created in life. Look at your skills. Look at what you, what you have accomplished in life. And the shaman of tradition means that you have always worked. You know, even if you are a person, or should you be a person that sort of lives at home and uh, feel I haven't done much, you're constantly working towards uh, uh, being a better person. And that sort of, thing, sort of thing is really important this week for you to realize that you're on a journey and that you're on a spiritual journey uh, for that matter. And uh, it's, in, it's important this week to, to look at what you have accomplished. Now, should you feel I haven't accomplished anything, which obviously would be a, 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 a wrong <laughs> conclusion, but should you be that person that sits there and go like, oh, I'm really depressed, I haven't done anything with my life? Well, if that's how you feel, then the only option you have is to start doing something with your life. This is a good week, remember? On the 11th, Mercury enters Capricorn, so the energy gets much higher. Do something this week. Find someone that teaches uh, spiritual uh, um, whatever modalities are out there, whatever finds you. Go and study it and be part of the wonders of spirituality. And every time you study something spiritual, uh, um, not only are you spending time with whatever system that is, but you trigger healing and you get healing a lot because spiritual studies, um, and it doesn't really matter what they are, um, are all about realizing um, how, how burdened one can be and how important it is to be as strong as possible and be in your strengths. So that's important for, for Scorpios. Going into Sagittarius, the last star sign of the week. Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, it's important this week, uh, and, and we've had this quite a lot uh, coming up today, uh, for the week of uh, January the 8th to the 14th, um, about people and, and, and different people and different star signs to reflect on where they are in life. It's actually always a good thing to take time out to reflect um, and see where you are in the scheme of things. So that's the task this week for Sagittarius. But you have the Shaman of Song, which means you have to be lighthearted. So you have to be um, really in a good place. You have to create a good place for you where you go like, yeah, you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at my life, maybe a little bit detached. Look at it detached. Don't be in the pain. Just look at okay, this is working, this isn't working, and be as lighthearted as you possibly can, because that will allow you to go deeper into any issues that hold you back in this lifetime, and that's what is important. This is a week to reflect on on where you truly are in this life, and if you feel that's not where you want to be then then a manifest change. That's really all there is to it, and I know it's not as easy as it sounds, but that's really all there is to it. You have to say, I deserve better, and that's the first sentence. Once you say and realize that you deserve better, you will get better, because it's the law of attraction. 
you remember what you're worth and whatever you're worth will come to you, if that makes sense, right? So that's all we have time for. Um, thank you for, for seeing me again <laughs> and I see you very soon. Goodbye.